Welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill. This is going to be my email address where you can send me your valuable feedback. So we're doing CAD 2006 question number 58. This was the eighth question in the quantitative section of the CAD 2006 paper. Okay, so the question goes like this. The number of solutions of the equation 2x plus y equals to 40, where both x and y are positive integers such that y is greater than or equal to x is what? So we have to find the number of positive solutions for this. So in this question, you know, what you have to do is you just have to start the question and you know, the pattern will start emerging there self only. So, since they are positive integers, they cannot take the values, negative values, so they cannot be equal to 0 as well. So, I'm going to start with x equal to 1. Why I'm starting with x equal to 1 is that because this is going to be, this is what will define the equation for me because it's 2x, you know, always start with a number which has a number multiplied with it, a greater number multiplied with it. So if I say x equal to 1, then this part over here is going to be equal to 2. If x is equal to 2, this part over here would be 4. So similarly, I have this pattern over here that this is what is going to be followed. So I'm just going to write some of the values here. I'm not going to write all the values because I know there is a pattern waiting for me there, right? Similarly, if x is equal to 1, this is what the value is to get if this equal to 40, I'll have my y to be equal to 38. Then only 38 plus 2 will be equal to 40. Similarly, this would be 36. And I have my pattern 34, 32, 30, and 28, then 26. Now I just have to find till what y will be either greater than or equal to x. So if I keep extending the pattern here, uh, I'll keep getting this number and similarly if I keep extending the pattern here I'll keep getting these numbers right so this would be 8 this would be 9 this would be 10 similarly if I you know I'm just falling short of space if I do like 12 11 12 so this would be 22 24 and uh, this would be again 22 and this would be Sorry, this would be 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. This would be 20. This would be 18. And this would be 16, right? So now you have to see till where y is greater than or equal to x. Now if you see that, till here, y is equal to 22, x is 9. y is equal to 20, x is 10. y is equal to 11, x is 28. y is equal to 16, x is 12. Still, still x is greater, x is less than y. So if I again increase it further, I make x to be equal to 13, y will be equal to 14 because this has to be 26. And if I say x equal to 14, this would be 28 and y would be equal to 12. So at this point, x becomes greater than y. That means for all the above values, x is less than y or y is greater than or equal to x as specified in the condition there. So just count the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 is my answer, right? So you can see you just look for the patterns. There might be a bigger pattern uh, that you can judge from there. But you know what? I'm doing this question for the very first time when I'm explaining it to you. Why? Because uh, I need to give you the concept that comes right there during the exam, not just something that I have prepared like two hours before. I want to show you what do I do when I see a question there and then. I think this is what most of us will be doing rather than waiting there and trying to find a bigger pattern and trying to find an answer in just two lines. So this is what you should be doing, right? So. I hope you're getting the idea what I'm, what I'm trying to do here. So thank you very much and keep watching the videos and don't forget me. Don't forget to send me your feedback. I've been getting a lot of them every day. And thank you very much for you giving me these feedbacks and watching the videos. So thank you and see you next video.